The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we prepare for this coming Sunday, the 17th Sunday after Pentecost, which this year falls on September the 19th. The theme that ties our lessons together for this 17th Sunday after Pentecost is Our Father Cares for His Children with the Gospel of His Son. Again, Our Father Cares for His Children with the Gospel of His Son. Today we meditate upon the Old Testament lesson for this Sunday, which comes from the prophet Jeremiah, the 11th chapter, verses 18 through 20. Let us pray together. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord from the prophet Jeremiah, the 11th chapter, verses 18 through 20. The Lord made it known to me, and I knew then you showed me their deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter. I did not know it was against me. They devised schemes, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut off from the land of the living, that his name be remembered no more. But, O Lord of hosts, who judges righteously, who tests the heart and the mind, let me see your vengeance upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The prayer and meditation for this text from the Lutheran Study Bible. In chapter 11 it says, The people break God's covenant, incurring the curses pronounced when their ancestor entered the promised land. Persistent apostasy can have only one outcome, God's judgment. Yet the Lord also stands ready to forgive his people and rescue them from impending disaster. If only they repent and return to him in faith. We pray together. O dear Father, grant us your Holy Spirit to work daily repentance in us and to keep us faithful to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen.